is Chris Mello, your cloud friend. I am going to start part five here. We are going to build a simple form so we can connect to our RDS SQL database and enter data. And this is what this is going to look like. So I'll go through this exercise. This is some pretty simple SQL stuff. So we can connect to the database, ingest data, and then print the data out. And then once we have our little website created, then we can go back to AWS and we can actually set this up using Route 53 and DNS and we can get the ball rolling on making an actual web page and application. So I hope this is helpful. You guys all have a nice day. And here we go. We'll continue on. I am going to build a form now so we can actually connect to our database. In the previous section, we verified that we could connect and hook up to the database through our PHP page. Now let's make a little form so we can actually be interactive and enter some data. So I'm just going to change this here. I'm going to I'll put a little section here. We'll create a form. Let's just make this BH. Some basic uh, HTML stuff. Motivation, input, how that looks called, inputs. Something like this. We'll do H1. Okay, so now, now let's start a form here. We'll do a form. We begin it. And the form action, let's well, the user includes down here. Let me grab this here. Includes.php, because we want to be, this will interact with our PHP page. No, I just want to get, I don't know, I'm going to remove this because we're going to, we'll, we'll interact with it up here. Okay, so this is really all just basic HTML stuff. It's really nothing to think about. It's just, it is what it is in terms of setting things up. Okay, there's our start, and we'll do a, down here, we'll do a stop the form. So that'll get us going right now. That's our basic form start. There's our header. And now let's add some input sections. Let's add with the first label, which will be for, we'll do the site first, try to make this look as pretty as we can. It'll be for, whoops, we equal site, sorry. And we'll just call this site in here. And then we'll do label. And the label, I'll cheat a little bit there. And then we just have to do the input type. This is going to be input type. We'll call this text. I gotta put it in that in the quotes. The ID will equals site. And then name equals a site. Let's just put this in the quotes here. That should do it. And end this here. And we'll just do, I don't know, a couple of uh, break lines here, I guess, just to make it look a little bit cleaner when we do this. Okay, we are. Okay, that will be our template here. And now let's just make the rest of them. Let's just do the copy and paste command here. We'll grab this and copy. Got what, five variables I believe we're gonna have. Torching everybody here with this, but we'll just go through it. One more. Okay, so there. Uh, now we just have to go through here and change our, our stuff. This is going to be the date. Make sure it's going to be lowercase. My bad. Date. Close the date. It's going to be text ID. Call this the date. And dates. All right, 
let's go to the next one. The next one's going to be our, so we'll call this our, this our, let's get down here. It's going to be text ID is going to be our, and our. Okay, come down to here, site's going to be, I guess we'll do weather next. Weather. Let's see, weather. Make sure torture guys like this, but going pretty fast actually, do weather. Weather. Here we'll do temperature. Actually, I need I need two more. So I need to do one more here. Copy, paste. So this will be temperature. And the last one is going to be the wind speed. Then we can just go make sure we got this right. Wind speed. speed. Okay, do I have any typos? That looks good. I mean, let's just add a, um, <laughs> a button to send this with. We'll do this. Slash button. Yeah, we'll make this be send. And end the button. Got right here. All right, let me save this here. We'll see how it looks on our web page. Okay, save. Let me just make sure I don't have any typos here. Wind speed, wind speed, wind speed. Temperature, temperature, temperature ID. Okay, let's go up and see if this actually posts on the web on the web page. This is I've got Apache running on this computer for our DevOps. Let's go take a look. Web page here, and it looks good. Looks like we've actually have our little form here, site, date, hour, weather, temperature, wind speed. So we can do, it's not gonna go anywhere because I haven't, we have to go back to our other PHP include section, but this is date 12.24, hour 15, weather sunny, temperature 20, Wind speed 10. So that should, we should be able to send this, but it's not going to go anywhere right now. So let's go and get this data to input to our database. We need to go and modify our include file, which is right here. This is in the includes directory. And I did type this out. I didn't want to torture everybody going through it, but I'll, we'll run through it and exactly what I did here. These are the variables that we're inputting. And the first two are going to be text ones, but we're going to post these. This is a filter to make sure that they're valid integers here, date, hour, temperature, and wind speed. So this is basically, we can just call this what, just conversion here. This is just a filter, filter check, I'll call it. Um, now here we're actually going to connect like we did before. This is our connection and we can make this be hidden later on. I just put your password there, but you can see this is the same thing we used before. So this is connect to database. Um, okay, this is just to make sure it failed. You know, this is, if we don't connect, it's gonna fail. This is just, connection is active. Okay, now this is gonna be the new observation. This is just gonna be a var dump of what we just inputted from the, um, from our form. 
So I just went ahead here, we'll dump it out so we can actually see what the data is. Now the next part is, let me just do this, new ob dump, new data string, I guess we can call that. Okay, now down here, we're gonna go back down. These are just the commands here. I did do this here because, um, I can make this be a little bit neater and go down like this. That being here, we're gonna bind it here with the question mark. This is a little bit more secure way of doing things. It's very standard PHP stuff here. You can go, it's just all pure syntax here. Just put your variables in here, your weather obs, and then we're gonna bind it down here. And I guess this is your integer, integer, string, integer, integer, string. So that's just a, the way it is when you define these here. Okay, this is binding. I'm gonna put this up on the up on the web page here. Now this will execute the command down here. This will actually execute the command. Do do do. Oh, that kind of was funky there. Funky. Okay, let's just do this. Um, okay. This is going to be just data, I guess we'll say that is. And then here we're just, once we ingest it, now we're just gonna print the whole database out just to make sure it actually got in there. I mean, this is this is just really raw. Just we wanna just basically get the data into the database. But obviously we're gonna do more QC checks going forward. And when we enter the data in the first part, we'll probably have some some more default data that's more realistic, but um, this is at least get the ball rolling. Let's go try to um, actually ingest some data, input some data in our database. I did find a couple of mistakes when I was doing this here. Um, this variable should have been temperature, how I defined it in the, uh, in the form. And one other thing I had to fix here, if I ran it, I'll do it again. This should have been sight. We've got to make this lowercase, which is fine. And I made it lowercase everywhere just to be consistent. So that being said, a couple little typos there. I fixed them, and now we should be able to actually run something here. So let's go and try to run it. Okay, let's go and actually try to add some data into our database here. Cleveland is having a snowstorm right now. It's today, it's about 12 o'clock. We'll just call it 12, I don't have minutes in here. Heavy snow, temperature was 11. And I saw a gust of 49 miles an hour. Okay, so this is just a regular ob. We really need to do more QCing with this particular program for right now. This is just a broad demo. So let's send the data. Oops, sorry here. And it looks like we've got Cleveland, we've got the date, we've got the time. It looks like we've got the temperature and that's the wind speed and the heavy snow. And it is in the database. So that is looking promising.